Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for April 16th through the 30th for my Libras. Hello my Libras. Well, this is an interesting time, isn't it? Yes. Well, first of all, longer reading, so I use my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I then then that gives us our main message. Then I use my John Hollingsworth Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. And then I end, and that actually kind of fills in those gaps. And then I end with my Osha Zen tarot cards, and that gives us kind of some answers, this best advice, okay? So, oh, also too, I have prayed, meditated, and infused each deck with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. So, my Libras. We went from the Libra full, the Libra super full moon in March to this new Libra full moon, not super, but full moon, in, this will be April 19th, and now what happens with that is, you know, a lot of people, a lot of, oh, what do we see? Oh, the chariot, so something's going to be moving quickly for you, so, or for somebody out there, so there, um, a lot of people have talked about this big energy portal, okay, from here to here, the Libra moons have been talking, have been trying to balance things out, while it tries to balance things out, a lot of things that are not in balance are exposed. So there's a lot of things that Libras do and Libra energy, you know, create. So, you know, one of those things has been to learning about yourself and also learning to love yourself, learning who that it's okay for you not to be perfect. <gasps> Did I say that, Libra? Yes, it's okay for you not to be perfect because that's what we're that's why we're here. We're all imperfect beings. But also now, with this Libra moon, this will be in full opposition of Uranus. Remember, um, expect the unexpected Uranus. So what will happen? Now, Libra, moon, Libra it has this Venus feminine loving you know, type of energy. And Uranus, expect the unexpected. So this is where it's kind of an irritant to Libras. Uh, it's an irritant. It makes you basically want to like throw your hands up and say, well, heck with all of this. I'm just going to go and do whatever I want, whether it makes sense or not to do that. So, you know, this is where, um, you know, people want to make changes, you know, just in this like three days before, three days after 16th to maybe the 22nd. You want to make some radical changes. I did, you know, I don't want you to do that. Um, and then on the 23rd or 24th, go, oh, what the heck did I do? So, an exam examples I've been given to some of my um, signs is it's like, you know, if you've got long hair, don't get your hair cut because you might go short. And, you know, if you've got short hair, you might have it all shaved. It's that type of energy. So, you know, maybe it's just best if you want short hair or to get your hair shaved, do it on the 25th. That's a better time. Okay. Also, too, we are transitioning from Aries energy to Taurus season. That's going to be the 21st, 22nd-ish, you know, kind of like in that night Titan thingy. And um, Taurus will bring some grounding. Now, you know, Aries has been that passionate fire energy. So this kind of Taurus grounds us a little bit more. Okay, so let's see. I think that's the pretty much the astrological update that I can give you. So all three cards face down. Let's see what we have here. Now our first one, 10 of Earth. Okay, Earth is what we're talking about with that Taurus energy. Taurus, um, Capricorn, and of course our Virgo. Earth is our money, it's our home, and I'm feeling money again for you. Not strong, but I'm feeling some, I'm feeling some money. If you're looking for a raise, um, if you're looking um, for a new job, I'm feeling, if you're looking... I don't know, you know, I'm not going to tell you to play the lotto, but if there's something that you're waiting for an inheritance to, I don't know what, you know, but it's like, maybe, well, you know, we went down this in October. It's like, it's coming there. It's this thing. It's, it's almost there, but it's not like real strong. Okay. So just want to let you know, but this is 10 of earth talks about a very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. And I'm feeling for my Libras, you know, when it says finding magic in the little things of life, you know, it's like, it's like appreciating and enjoying those little miracles of life, you know. Yes, I'm, you know, there was, um, John Travolta was in the movie Michael, he was Archangel Michael, 
and somebody made fun of the, you know, they said, what, like the parking place angels, you know, and he, and he said, hey, don't make fun of them. They do good work, you know, but it's kind of like that, you know, it's like, you know, you're, you're running late and you're like, oh, please, please, higher power, divine, guardian angels, spirit guides, whoever you are, please help me get there on time or please help me find a parking space or please help me to find, help me find that last quarter so I can feed the meter, you know, and it's like, and it's like, oh, look at it, it comes, okay? These are the types of things that I'm finding for you. I'm feeling like, um, you know, and I don't know why quarters and coins are coming to me for my Libras, but it's like, you know, just when you, when you have that bill and you don't know where that money is going to come and it's like, oh, there's the money that comes. It's, it's those, and it's not necessarily that's going to be this big, massive thing but it's like that type of energy for you it, it's like you know and so i'm going to really tell you if you need something speak it out okay speak it out because it's like you know if you need you know if you're worried about your i'm running late i need to get a parking spot oh look at it, it's right next to the building i need to go in it's that type of energy i'm feeling for you for this last two weeks of april remember speak it out because if you don't speak it out you know, I mean, you know, if you don't speak it out, it can't be heard. Okay, so let's see what the next card is. I like that. I, lo I love that when that happens. That's great energy. Okay, next card is the two of water. Water, of course, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. It's fluidity. It's emotional. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. So I'm feeling that there's going to be, and, and we're, I don't think we're anywhere near Mercury going retrograde or anything like that, but I'm feeling that people will be coming into your lives from the past. People that maybe you have been very hard-lined about, hey, stay out of my life. But I feel like there's going to be some people coming back to you. And I feel like they might even be saying that they're sorry to you. They're coming back with an apology. You know, well, I am so sorry. Um, again, I'm feeling maybe spouses or significant others, those type of or even two, I mean, but it's somebody that, I'm feeling that it's somebody that hurt you. So it could be that you were working a job and you were very, you know, you, you were very integral to that job and then, you know, then they moved the company and you were laid off and you're like, whoa. Or it could be that you, you know, you helped, um, you know, helped somebody, could even be a child, your children, you helped them get established and then they just went on their own way. So it's not necessarily that they were being, I'm not saying that they were hurting you intentionally against you, because remember, it wasn't personal. Well, heck, yeah, and when you're on the receiving end, it, the iron well is personal. But, you know, to them, it wasn't personal. I really, you know, I'm sorry, but I'm almost feeling like there could be, again, those type of people coming back into your life. You need to realize, what well, you need to kind of really think, again, that full moon, make you know, is it somebody that you want to return to your life? Okay? Just be aware of that. Okay? Just, yeah, concentrate on finding the parking spots. Um, anyway, anyway, let's go on. Here we have the Ace of Water. Again, that same water energy, that emotional, and it's falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. So we have this thing about, you know, being able to, you know, it's like things like pennies from heaven coming down. You know, I, I again, I'm going back with the coins. Hey, open your purse. They fill my purse. And, I, and if you're a guy, take a, take a good garbage bag. Hey, fill my garbage, fill my bag type of thing. But I feel like that, that type of energy is going to happen to you. And yet at the same time, I feel like there's resurgence, returning, of people that once were very close to you um or it could be it could even be this it could even be and you know that i don't necessarily go down the relationship path it could well it could be that job that returns to you or they want to talk to you again and they want to you know maybe they want to pick your brain a little bit be careful about that and if they do want to pick your brain you tell them that they got to pay you okay you pay me for what i give you I'm not giving anything for for nothing anymore unless it's for a worthy cause, okay? But I do feel that it could be that, um, you know, there could be, you know, so those are the could be's too, but I do feel that it's more an interpersonal relationship for my Virgo, for my Virgos. Oh my gosh, maybe it's a Virgo coming to you. For my Libras, I apologize for that one. 
Um, but I do feel that it is an interpersonal relationship that is going to be returning to you. So what could that mean? Maybe you had, maybe you were once um, had a very wonderful love life and that person passed on. So it could be that somebody brings that type of energy back into your life. It could be that somebody that you had this one relationship and they left you and they come back in too, okay? But also too, again, what, you know, with this earth sign and the fact that I came out with Virgo, watch for something to do with an earth sign. Someone watch, well, but this could be that it's going to be happening more so in the Taurus time after that 20 to 21st, okay? It could be that too. Okay, so let's go on and see my John Hollingsworth, I keep being pulled to that 10 of Earth, and if that's, that's, you know, 10s, you know, traditionally they do have this thing about endings with new beginnings, and then you have, like I said, that Ace of Water. Okay. One card just fell. So this is going to just give us that type of, it. okay, sure. <laughs> Sometimes when the cards fly around, they really do fly. Okay. Oh, okay. We have a whole bunch. We not a whole bunch, but we do have. We do have five cards that wanted to come out. Now, this card I'm gonna. This one I do not know where to place this because it kind of went to the side. So. This. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on here. So this card went, it kind of flew to the side, and this is trapped in fear, okay? And this is something that if we, you know, if this is, if, if what we're talking about, something that has hurt us is trying to return, that is scarier than all get out. That's scary. It's like, why do I want to trust you again? Why do I want to let you back into my life, okay? So just be, just be aware of how you're responding to that. Now, part of it may be that you are to, you know, I, I don't necessarily know. I'm kind of somebody that if I, if you, if you've left my life, you need to keep going. Okay. So that's me. So my Libras, uh, you might balance it out a little bit. You might go back and forth a little bit, but it, it might be a little bit, of, bit of, a little bit scary for you. Let's see what these other cards say. So this card is also face up, but it's also reversed. And people, you know, if you know my readings, you know Reverse says that there is a big um, message there. It's a stronger message. So this one is sacrifice. And when you're looking at this one, don't, you know, I'm thinking that this is about past sacrifices. Again, this kind of goes back to what, you know, that you did a lot for somebody or something or a company. But if you look, she is rising from these murky waters and she is rising strong, and her outfit is unblemished. It's not, it's not stained by any of these. And she is, you know, she has her hands up as if in prayer. Um, you know, she is, you know, reaching up to her divine, she, to her spirit guides, guardian angels, higher power, whoever. And there is a blessing of a rainbow coming back to her. And in fact, it, it, it's all, it's rainbowized. <laughs> it's rainbowed her her, the flower that's in her hair, okay? And look at how at peace she is. So in many ways, it's kind of saying, you know, what, you know, it, and again, this kind of goes back to whatever's been in that, you know, that past is coming back into your future. And this is then to me saying that, uh, that you're, that many Libra's sacrifices have been noted and blessings will be coming, okay? Now, let's see what this card says. This card is face down. Okay, this is the solar plexus chakra. So we have basically, we have the crown, we have the third eye, we have the throat, we have the heart, we have the solar plexus. Um, and then, you know, so then, you know, then we have, a <laughs> we have, oh my gosh, it's all of a sudden leaving senior moment. Um, well, I know the, the, the root, the base. Okay, but anyway, the solar plexus is yourself, is who you feel you are. It is who your self-esteem is. It is who you, it is more the earthier part of you. When it gets to the heart and above, that becomes more of your spiritual intuition. And when it's the heart, including the heart and below, it becomes more of your, more of your grounding self, okay? 
But this is basically, um, it's telling me that whatever, you know, to me, whatever happened, it really, whatever this was, there was a, you know, it could have been that there was a damage to your self-esteem, but this is telling me that your self-esteem is, is going to actually be in a higher level. So does that mean that you're going to let that person in? And no, maybe that your self-esteem is to the point that you say, stay out of my life. Or your self-esteem might be that you say, okay, now I'm ready for you. It could even be that maybe that, you know, we talked about the job per se, maybe a, a job that was similar but better is coming. You know, I mean, it's, it's, this is about, you know, this is about who you now are, okay? You know, this is where you were. This is where you were. You're, you know, you're being, you're going to be receiving your blessings. This is about who you now are. This is very strong for you. Now, let's see what this next card says. This is face down. And then we get the sacral chakra. So then we go to the sacral. And then again, so this is a lot of these are, you know, so here it is, you know, there's the heart. Here is the solar plexus and then the sacral. Again, this is all about recovering and redeveloping or recovering and developing your self-esteem. Okay. That's what this is coming up to me as. And the thing that happens is, again, we had five cards come out. So we started with trapped in fear. And we end in transformation. And I love, I love her. I love her. Look at, she's taking this gray mask off. You know, she becomes this ethereal creature. She has her wings. She's, you know, she's, you know, angelic in appearance now. Her hair is just flying. I mean, she's just, you know, she just to me has, and she has an inner beauty that just comes out. And this is almost like this is your, this is like a, a, your pathway, Libras. It's like, you know, you've been trapped in fear. There's been so much coming against you. You know, you've sacrificed so much, but it's so, but, but, you know, the divine has heard you and, and now you are developing who you actually are. You becoming that person. It could be that you're coming that person again, you know, the one before all the garbage happened and the thing is now you're transforming into who you're meant to be so this is a lot of powerful cards for you um you know this is part of your journey it's like this big journey for you now is it all going to be within two weeks well it could but is it pot is it no i think that this i think you will continue to transform i think you will continue to develop that um you know, that, that who you are, I, you know, you, you will return, you, those things will return to you. You know, if you never had them before, it will, they will actually um, start, I don't want to say growing, but it'll actually start maturing, start actually, you'll start feeling more comfortable with who you are, okay? So my Osha Zentero for any final advice for my Libras. Libras, this is, you're, you're entering into this big phase, it gives me kind of goosebumps, you're entering into this big phase of change for you, change of how you're thinking about things, how you're doing things. And I like it. I like it because I, I do get, you know, you know I, I always say this, I know, I get a kick out of my Libras. People, they always, you know, they, you're such a powerhouse. You're power, you know, you're a powerhouse and people don't see that. Okay, one more shuffle. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and cut the deck three cards down and this is kind of our advice cards so this is what I consider that to be okay let's see all three face down okay here we go this is reversed and basically it's saying you know the best advice as it comes on to this sacrifice is connect with your divine higher power guardian angel spirit guides whoever it is connect 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 and when we and when we need to know more, connect, okay? Because there is, oh, we had two cards. Oh my gosh. So these two cards were actually together. So here we are with this, and this card was behind it, turning in. So this is, again, this is through prayer, but it's also through meditation. This is going to be the time for you to really, really reach out. Now, sometimes... Um, you know, sometimes we can look at these cards and these faces are the external, are the external forces that come against us. 
It could be though that these are, you know, and then what she does is she turns in and she blocks these. And that's very, very good advice for you because you do, being an air sign, you do pick a lot of that up. So that might be. The other is though to, you know, those could be spirit guides, ancestral guides, but I don't necessarily know for you if they are positive. I think it's more a case of, you know, turning in, meditating, connecting, connecting with your with the creator, and you know, and blocking the ex, the external negativity. Okay, let's see what this next card. I'm going to make sure I like push it so that I mean so that I can see what you know. Not okay. Healing. Healing. So again, too now. You know, that is more, that's more in the region of the heart. But this is, again, saying, you know, the time for healing has come. The time for you to develop into who you are to be is now. Okay? And this last card is, okay. Okay, so my my sound went a little, uh, so I'm editing this last piece in. I'm sorry, you will notice a difference, but there is a reason that I wanted you to know this. But the last card is, and it came up like this when I came, when I did the original. This is guidance. This is an angelic, divine type of guidance. This is connecting with your, again, your divine, your higher power, your guardian angels, your, you know, spirit guides, whoever that is to you. This is your connection. This is extremely, extremely important for you, my Libras. Okay? So this is the advice that this card is giving you. But the most important part and the reason that I'm editing this in is because this piece was missed and I want you to all know, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.